Hello guys, thanks for watching. So today what I want to talk about is something serious. So it's going to get into the topic of church and religion. So if you're one of those people that hates church, religion, God, Jews, Catholic, whatever your case may be, don't leave that hate comment below or they will get deleted. Um, so, you know, most people don't know, you know, the whole story as to why I came up here. Uh, where I'm at right now. Um, I've been looking for a job for the last three, maybe four months. Um, and, you know, I had some luck every once in a while, but nothing actually fell through just because, you know, I had to pay out of my own pocket to move out. And that was not an option. So I waited patiently, and finally I got, a, got the job of all jobs if you will and um, got the interview uh, everything fell through and um, the only issue I had was finding a place to come up here because of my dog um, I made an excel sheet and I kid you not I called anywhere from 25 to 30 uh, apartments and within the 45 mile radius and none of them took German Shepherds which was a huge bummer uh, I was running out of time so I said you know once I you know I I prayed to God that I haven't in a, long, in a really long time and I said God you know if you help me find a place uh, close to work um, I'll go to church every Sunday and I found this house that I'm in right now and uh, just down the alley which is maybe less than you know 15 yards there's a church of God um, so it's it was just like a sign that it had to be here um, and right now I love my job I love what I do it's just it's uh, it's amazing um, so that's how I ended up here and this last couple of weeks I have been going to church every Sunday I'm gonna be start going to Bible study soon um, but, you know, I, um, I, um, you know, uh, I've been going to church for a while now, and today, um, I talked to the pastor, um, and I told him that, you know, I wanted to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Um, now, before all this, I was an atheist. And then I became agnostic, meaning, you know, you believe in a higher power. And then finally, um, now, I guess you can call me a newborn um, son of Jesus or son of God. Uh, I don't like to call myself a Christian um, or Catholic or Jewish or Mormon or whatever. Um, just because I'm not either one of those. I'm just, you know, a son of God who has accepted God and Jesus as his son and the Holy Spirit as well um, <coughs> and um, you know before I used to hate religion a lot um, and now I I, um, I, I don't uh, well before I used to hate everything I used to hate religion, church, God, Jesus, Jews, Mormons Christians, Catholic, I used to hate everything religion um, because, you know, how can all this hatred and all these wars and all this corruption in government be happening? How can God let all this happen? Um, you know, all this happened and uh, that's how I became atheist. Then, you know, um, with the music industry, you know, the how they were showing satanic signs. Um, then it kind of made me realize, you know, if they're showing these satanic signs, um, it must mean that, you know, there is actually uh, either a god um, out there if they're showing all these satanic signs. So I became agnostic. And again, that means just that there's a higher power. Um, never got into the Bible or anything like that. So after that, 
uh, you know, I got up here, I started going to church every Sunday, and then finally, like I said, today I woke up, I woke up, I guess, I got up, <coughs> and I talked to the pastor, and I said, you know, I said to him, I would like to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. He got me in front of everybody, um, and everybody cheered, it was clapping, it was happiness, um, got me on the altar, altar. Uh, I got on my knees and started praying, and he had his hand over my shoulder, and next thing I know, the entire church was standing right behind me, um, you know, holding my shoulders, my head, and as the pastor was praising to the Lord, you know, forgive him for all his sins now and any sins that he might do in the future. Um, that's my phone. Um, and just, uh, um, you know, uh, some other stuff too that I can talk about, but, um, I feel great. You know, I had the entire church, the entire community behind me. Um, and before, it was just hate. Hate, hate, hate. Um, you know, I used to think to myself, you know, if Satan were to come up here to me and said, hey, you know, in order, I'll give you power if you give me your soul. You know, I would have sold my soul to Satan. You know, if he came up to me and appeared to me. Um, and it was just hate and darkness. Um, and uh, now it's just light and peace and love. And that's what I felt when I walked into the church for the first time. It was just love. Something that... You know, you get love from your parents and your friends and family, but this was a different type of love. Um, it was love, like unconditional love. That's what it felt like. Um, that's my phone again. Um, so, you know, before I used to kind of be, you know, iffy about talking about God and church and, you know, accepting Jesus as my Savior. Now, I just don't care what anybody thinks. You know, if I uh, says somebody says to me, you know, oh, you're a Christian. It's like, no, I'm a son of God, and I accept the God, and I accept Jesus, and I accept the Holy Spirit. You know, I'm not Catholic, I'm not Christian, I'm not Jewish. I just I'm a son of God. Um, and you know, that's a different debate uh, because you know, so how can you be you know a son of God if you know, you you follow the teachings of so and so, and it's like, listen, there's the Bible, and that's it. Now you can have the Quran, you can have the Torah, you can have all this other stuff. Onyx, you okay? It's my dog. He's like out of breath. He's okay though. Excuse me. You know, you can have all this other stuff. I don't care. You know, as long as you love me, I love you. Uh, we'll be leaving a God and a higher being and know that Satan is real and God is real, then I'm okay with that. Um, today's sermon we talked about um, you know uh, you know the you know some of the, some of the stuff that's going on, you know, tornadoes, hurricanes uh, floods, mudslides, you know, the volcano, and, you know, he got talking about prepping. You know, it's okay if you have a little, some, you know, beans stored up and a little bit of water in case something does happen. Um, but this is not the end. Uh, you know, this is not, these things that are happening, this is not the end. There's still more to come. And, you know, you still got Armageddon. You know, the war of all wars, where you got good and evil. Um, and the reason I got into the whole religion thing is because, again, with the music industry, where they're showing satanic signs and, you know, showing people sinning, and you can see it. You can see it. You, you don't have to be, you, you know, a genius to see that, you know, some of the songs, you know, that you can... <laughs> Some of the videos that you see on YouTube where there's a kid singing and, you know, uh, they're singing a Kanye West song 
you know, ass titty bitches, uh, whole money cash flow haters, you know, uh, Lamborghinis, all this other stuff, right? Uh, and then they're showing, showing satanic signs and um, all this other stuff. Um, we talked about homosexuality, how, you know, homosexuality is a sin, but just because somebody is gay or lesbian doesn't mean you have to hate them. You know, hate the sin, but love the sinner. You know, uh, you know, you can be black, white, Jewish, purple, gay, Italian, I don't care. Um, you know, ex-convict, murderer, uh, thief, um, sinner, prostitute. You know, I'm still going to love you for who you are as a person. Um, you know, I can hate the sin, but I can love you as a person. Um, so with that being said, um, one of my co-workers spread this out to me. It's called the Four Blood Moons, uh, April 15, which is in Passover week, uh, or next week. Uh, October 8, 2014, March 20, 2015, is going to be the solar eclipse. And then April 4, 2015, and September 28, 2015, is the last uh, solar moon, or f uh, blood moon. Um, if you haven't checked it out, it's called the Harbinger. Go check it out on YouTube. It's some good information as to 9-11. You know, every 70 years something happens in the U.S., um, because this country was founded on Christianity and God, you know, the Word of God, and how Satan is trying to attack us um, because of that. So, the Harbinger, go look it up. It's a good information. Uh, talks to you everything about, you know, 9-11, um, in the past, what the Babylonians did, the Jewish community did, Jerusalem and how we're making the same mistakes they did and it just it's shocking um, but you know this is me talking about my religious awakening if you want to call it um, because again there is evil out there but once I went to this church um, all I felt was love love from the day I walked in love the day I walk out um, it's just unconditional love. Um, no matter what you did before, um, it was just love. And I love what they do for the community as well. They have a um, food wagon, I think it's called. Uh, so all the, you know, uh, uh, buy, you know, the money that you give to the church, you know, how they use that to help out the community. Um, and that's something that, you know, this you know, Church of Satan, which there are, they are out there, um, they don't do. Uh, or, you know, um, you have all these organizations that, you know, they do, you know, soup kitchens and, you know, uh, food drives and, you know, they give away clothing and shelter for the homeless. Um, you know, I'm not saying that only religion, only churches help out the community because, you know, there are other organizations that are non, you know, religious. Um, but those organizations are not based on hate. They're based on love, which is what I used to be. Atheist, and I used to hate this and hate that. Um, now, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, there might be atheists out there who volunteer for soup kitchens and, you know, volunteer for food drives and things like that. Um, but, you know, the church is, you know, based on love, and that's what I wanted to get at. And, you know, they help the community. They don't, you know, say, oh, you're black. You're not going to get any food today. Or you're, you know, you're too poor. You're an alcoholic. Why are we gonna help you? Um, you're a drug addict. Why am I gonna give you food when I can give it to this family that needs it the most? It's just, you know, uh, love. Um, and uh, I don't know. I just left the church I'm going to, and 
I'm going to start going to Bible study um, because it's just something that uh, you know it's uh, it's a reason I'm here you know you can say well it's just coincidence that you know you talk to God and you know you find a house and then just on the road there's a church of God it's just a coincidence and uh, you're an idiot for uh, believing in God and believing in Jesus and all this stuff it's like I don't care what you think that's just what I think and hopefully there's you know some of you out there and I'm not gonna call you Christians I'm not gonna call you Catholic I'm just gonna call you guys you know sons of God and daughters of God um, out there who you know are uh, watching this uh, because you know I just today uh, I turn my life over to God and Jesus and I'm not ashamed of it. I'm actually proud. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Um, what do you guys think? Are you guys religious? Um, or are you guys agnostic? Atheist? Um, but no hate comment like, you know, all Jews are greedy, you know. Um, uh, God only likes whites or you know um, Christianity is the only religion like don't do things like that because uh, that's just hating something else and I'm done with hating um, uh, I, I don't want to hate anymore and that's Satan telling me you know hating is good you know uh, it's not and that's just Satan uh, trying to take over your life and if you let him it's going to take you to dark places um, where it has taken me and as long as you uh, accept Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit you should be okay and you know just pick up a Bible and read one verse every night before you go to bed one verse read it twice that's it you don't have to read the entire Bible and memorize the word for word um, you just have to know that, you know, love others. Um, you know, eventually I'm going to make a mistake and I'm going to be a sinner, you know. Um, but, you know, I'm going to have God with me to help me um, with whatever challenge I come across. You know, and all these challenges are from Satan. And God wants you to have those challenges. Um because he wants you to rely on him because he's gonna make the burden the burden uh, less heavy um, and he's gonna walk you through it so that's it guys thanks for watching um, hopefully I didn't bore you guys